earlier on, we were talking about domain names. And of course, we had a domain that was .biz. So is it important the domain name that you have? Is a .co.uk or a .com better than a .co.uk? And what about these new ones that are out there, .london and stuff like that? What's going on with domain names? Well, Helene is with our good friends at .uk, and hopefully they're going to explain all. <laughs> Thanks very much, Steve. There's that me, there's that live. As you say, there's so many dot endings that we have. And we're here with dot UK. Let's find out who we're here with. My name's Dawn Dunn. I'm the channel relations manager for Nominate UK. Fantastic. And you, maybe you can clear up some of the mystery around these differing domain names. Because as we said, there's so many now where we're all used to just two before. Absolutely. We, we're seeing a massive change in the landscape for domain names at the moment. Um, in the last 10 to 15 years, we've seen .co.uk, .coms being the main contenders. Now there's going to be about 1,200 new top-level domains being released. We're, hit, we're seeing um, .photo, .shop, .web, and it's really adjusting your business and picking the right domain name to suit that business. How do you know? Because it is a little bit confusing, especially if you're an SME, and, and maybe you don't want to be just national, but you want to be international. Absolutely, and I think from our perspective, we, we're um, targeting UK businesses, and we're saying if your business is local, if it's UK, then you should have a .co.uk or a .uk, and we fi find that geographical presence gives you a lot more credibility. But of course, if you're a photographer, then you'd want .photo, or you know, you'd find that a bit more suitable. And how does it work with .uk? If I'm an SME, what, what's, when I come to you, what's on offer? So for .uk, we um, are reserving .uk's for existing .co.uk owners. Um, of course, if that doesn't exist, you're welcome to register the .uk itself. We're working with Fasthost today so they can actually register your domain name for you. You can get it here and now, um, either .co.uk or .uk. Fantastic. And how's, is this your first show? Oh, uh, no, we've been here quite a few times. <laughs> Mainly just raising the awareness of .co.uk and .uk. So before we head back over to Steve, let me ask you a clear, a concise statement on what you do, what it costs, and where I find you. So UK, we're based in Oxford. Um, the, the prices range because we're a not-for-profit organization, the registries, so you just we'd recommend that you go online, you find a registrar, and they're all very competitive with their prices, ranging from uh, $1.99 for a year. We register up to 10 years, so ranging from there.